connection. All right, I think we're good. Happy Thirsty Thursday, everyone! Hello. We're back, this time with not only one beer, not two beers, but three beers. <laughs> you excited? I am, actually, yeah. So, before we get started, um, the reason that we're drinking IPAs today is because IPAs are very hoppy. And I wanted to talk about the fact that our hops, all of our hops right now, which we have a huge selection, are on sale for 10% off. So if you need hops for your home brewing, this is a good time to get them. Um, use the code 10% off, use the code HOPPY10 at checkout. So you'll put all the, everything in your cart, and then when you go to uh, checkout, just put HOPPY10 in there and it should take 10% off any of the hops in your cart. That could be helpful. It could be very helpful. Mm -hmm. So with that, we wanted to talk a little bit about um, each of the three IPAs that we have, and then the hops in those IPAs. Yes. So, we're going to be tasting all of them too, and I'm very excited because we have three IPAs. Mm -hmm. um, why don't you describe what they are, because you are the okay. one that got all them. Right. <laughs> well, we, have, we have three IPAs, and I, and I chose three that really have um, three different hop flavor profiles, so we can kind of play with which ones we like better. Um, because basically I only picked up maybe 20% of the kits that we have that would fall under the realm of IPA. I mean, if you like IPAs, we have an IPA for you. Yeah, there's a lot. Mm -hmm. And so I really want to kind of talk about, and, and the nice thing is I think that these three IPAs have a good representation of um, kind of your typical hops. You know, a lot of times you're going to see either Citra, Cascade, you'll see Fuggle, Centennial, Columbus, those are kind of the big five. Galaxy too. Galaxy and Mosaic are on the fringe, but but because they are just kind of newcomers or they're, they're merging more. Mm -hmm. um, I personally, um, I I don't know if everybody in the world has a favorite hop. I do. What's do you have your a favorite? What's hop? your favorite? Mosaic. Hop? Mosaic. Okay. Yeah. See, I'm not even gonna go there because I am not experienced enough to have a favorite, but I'm sure that I will eventually. It can happen. We don't have one with a mosaic on it in today, but. Um, yeah, Mosaic is my favorite hop. So anytime that I, I'm lucky enough to be able to look at what's in the brew, mm -hmm. it kind of gives me an idea. Yeah, and I think it's kind of cool that, you know, no matter if you're home brewing or if you're drinking a commercial beer, it's the same hops that are, yes. you, and you know, so it's mm -hmm. neat. If you, you know, there's tons of books out there. We even have a book about clone recipes. Mm -hmm. Um, of commercial brews and then trying to make it yourself. Sure. So I think that's kind of cool because you could try to replicate it, especially if you're new and you're like, well, I don't really know what I want to do, but I like this beer. Then. Mm -hmm. And you can do um, online. You know, I, I was uh, looking up different recipes last night after dinner, just kind of looking at what was out there as far as clones go. Uh -huh. And it was kind of cool because I would pick some of the ones that my husband would pick if we go to, out to eat or whatever, and sure enough, there were recipes that people were posting on different blogs that said, this is really close to this, or this is really close to that. Right. And that, yeah. was, that was fun. No, that's that's really neat. So let's start with... Um, so we're going to start with the lowest um, um, BT... The lowest IBUs. IBUs, yes. BTUs. We're not, we're not setting a damn fire. Um, <laughs> but we might. We shouldn't say we're not. But um, we're going to start with the lowest. So what? which one was this? This was five... or. So this was 45. 45 IBUs, which for anyone that doesn't know, IBU stands for International Bittering Units. Mm -hmm. um, so it basically is just like the bitterness of the beer, and that comes a lot from the hops. It is. So, mm -hmm. um, and this also is, as far as ABV, is 5.2%. Yeah, and it, we'll talk about that a little bit later, but, you know, IPAs can really vary. Yeah. I th I always think of them as like kind of lower, but I mean the one the you'll oh, you'll see the one we're drinking not necessarily it's high yeah mm -hmm. so um yeah let's smell this one I think this was supposed to be grapefruit right because I smell grapefruit mm hmm okay yeah so do you not... feel it a little bit back here or no. A little bit, yeah. Not super, super bitter. No. I still get a little evergreen in here. Evergreen? Mm-hmm. Yeah, maybe. Like pine. Mm-hmm. Let's see if that's one of the um, 
things that is listed. So this beer was made using Chinook hops. Um, and look at you, Paula. So what? it says grapefruit, which is what I you tasted. Did, yeah. Uh, tropical fruit, which I think the, I think the, um, I almost want to say, like, it has, like, a soapy type taste, but it's not, it's not soap. It's, it's a different type of flavor, but it's the way that it makes my mouth feel. Okay. I feel like I'm, like, eating soap, but in a good way. That sounds really weird. I, I'm, I'm, I'm out. It I'm sounds out. really weird, but every time that it, it, that happens, it's like this tropical fruit is what's listed. So okay. I, think, I think when it has that sort of a flavor in my brain, it's a tropical fruit. Um, but then the third flavor listed was pine. Oh! Yay! So, winner, winner, chicken dinner! Yep, so grapefruit, yeah. tropical fruit, pine, stone fruit, and berry. I think when, when I see tropical fruit, though, it always makes me think of more, more of the zest. It's more of the that bitterness from the, from, from the like, shell of the, the orange or the yeah. lemon or lime. Rind, is that what we call it? <laughs> so, anyway. Um, yeah, well, it's definitely not soap. That's not that's not the right word to describe it, but it's like that's how it would make my mouth. How it okay. makes my Maybe. mouth. Maybe. Is that the carbonation, though? Maybe. Maybe. I don't okay. know. So yeah. that's, uh, that's the first one. How, what are, are you a fan of that? I know you like darker beers, so. I do like darker beers, so this is not going to be like, my, I'm not going to have a 10. No matter what. Yeah. Most likely. Mm -hmm. um, you'd have to send me to a tropical island and, and there'd have to be a lot of other things. So, um, Summy just was talking about one gallon kits on here. Yeah, yeah that's what that I was cool. trying to scroll back to. Oh, I Somebody oh, just said that they uh, got a I don't a even know how to do kit. that. Do you? Yeah, I thought I did. I thought okay. that you would just... Oh, oh yeah, yeah there you go. Than I am. Somebody says, just order a few one-gallon beer kits and it's his first time brewing. Oh, best made mead. Okay, cool. So you're venturing into beer. That's awesome. So you're making a wow. mead plus beer. Making here. Oh, we, do, we got bragging rights going on here. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, the question was tan, um, tannins from the rind. Maybe that's what we're tasting. Maybe. Maybe. But yeah, that's a pretty sophisticated flavor then. Mhm. Mm I like it. I th I think that I've had IPAs that have a, like a lot more hops to them, mm -hmm. and I'm not sure that that's my preference. But okay. But I think maybe it's which hops it has a lot more of. Yeah. Because you could say like I like really spicy food, but I don't like curry, or I really like curry, but I don't like spicy but, food. Yeah. It depends on what like is. Like the difference between sriracha and Frank's red. Or something like that. Something like that, right? yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right, should we I'm try? I'm keeping this over here in case <laughs> I need it again. All right. All right, number two what? is a little number bit happier. Two. It's a 50 on the scale of the international, international, 55, 55, international bittering unit. And it's 5.9%. So we've gone up a little bit in ABV? Yeah, from 5.2 to 5.9. And then also it's a combination of two. So they're saying... Uh, Centennial and Cascade. So these two right here. Now, I'm not going to look at the packages. I'm okay. going to see. All right. We're not looking at packages. <laughs> All right. I think it smells completely different. It does. It smells a lot more citrusy than the it, last I, one. I don't think it's as, as um, in your face, which is funny because it's, it's got a higher bittering unit. Yeah. You with me on that? I am. Okay. How do you feel about that? I like this one better. I'm also thinking that it does taste a bit more bitter, but it tastes more citrusy to me. And that's what I mean. You could have a higher bittering unit and have it be way more bitter, but actually better to your palate liking depending on which hops it is. And that's why hops are so incredibly important. You can't just throw a bunch of hops in there. The same as when you're cooking, you can't just throw a bunch of spices in, you won't get harmony. Right. And I think that <laughs> for anyone new that's like new to brewing, what? Why are Go you ahead. laughing? Go ahead. Anyone that's new to brewing, I feel like the intention is to like want to make it really cool so you throw everything in. Yeah, it's like when you're, it, when you're cooking and like you just start putting, putting things in. Oh, it's just putting stuff don't do in. It. it doesn't really work that yeah, well. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. This is a beautiful combination and a pretty, a very easy to get combination. We always have Centennial. We always have Cascade. Um, 
I said that this tastes like citrus. This beer reminds me a bit uh-huh. of the lemon flavor in the last beer that we tried oh, on, our, the sour. on our lemon sour. Yeah. But Paul and I were talking afterwards, and full disclosure, we were not not huge fans of that beer at all. Yeah. It was it was all right while well, you're like. It was alright if you had a sip, uh, but then afterwards you're like... Because eh. I've had way better sours than what Yeah, all, the, the sours that we had in oh, the that pineapple were one? Way, way better, better. Way better. Yeah, I was yeah. kind of sad. Actually, I do, I, I do taste a little lemon. That's definitely tropical. Um, I don't taste any pine or anything no, like, it's different. like that. It's completely different. So let's see what, um, what flavors these say they're supposed to be. Oh, hey! Look at that. So Centennial, the first favorite listed is lemon. Yeah. So I wasn't wrong You're on that. You're kind of getting fancy. Um, and then floral and orange blossom are the flavors okay. that are also I can, listed yeah. for Centennial. Okay, I can see that. I can see that. Um, and then for Cascade, it's grapefruit, floral. It does say pine. I but don't think so. I don't really taste it. But maybe it's because the two are working together uh-huh. very, very well. Grass and herbal. Okay. Are the other ones? Yeah, I like this way better than that. I would agree. It just seems to pack more mm-hmm. flavor to it. Mm-hmm. And um, I think the bittering is like good. The bitter part of it doesn't really hit you until afterward. Like the majority of the bittering doesn't really hit you till afterwards. Mm-hmm. Like, and I think that was bitter forward. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm not mad about this. <laughs> mm-hmm. Let's talk about right. the third one. Whew. So this one jumps it's up in hard ABV. work. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This one jumps up in ABV quite a bit. Yeah. Eight point three percent. Um, which you know isn't as much as the nine percent beer that we had last time. Right. Right. But um, yeah. So eight point three percent ABV, but the IBUs almost double. So it's 80. 80. Compared to 40, 45 in the first one and then 55 in the second. All right. We, we so. have to be serious about this. <laughs> and this is a double IPA. Did you say that? Yeah. Okay. I didn't say it, but. <laughs> yeah. Have, it's a to, double, it is a double IPA. You have to be serious about this. This is a very double IPA. It's just. All right. Can, well, oh. you can definitely smell it. See, I, I smell the pine again. Do you? Yeah, I just smell, like, a lot. That's what I smell, is a lot. <laughs> yep, it's... This is like a party in your mouth. See, this is an explosion. I don't prefer this. This is not your... Deal. I would drink this over this, because before the live, we were talking about IPAs and how they, like differ a lot uh-huh. um this is just too bitter like it's too it has too much bitterness for me i would drink one. i think it's kind of earthy oh it's definitely earthy uh-huh. yeah it's definitely earthy i just i don't think that this is my preference but that's why we have a hundred different kinds of hops mm-hmm. you find the ones you like so this one has what is it citra yep citra so the aroma here, or like the uh, mm-hmm. flavors associated, are citrus wood. Um, There's the earthy. Which is the earthy tropical fruit and stone fruit. And I don't know stone fruit. I would never be able to say, oh, that tastes like stone fruit. I don't think I've ever had stone fruit. What is a stone fruit? Uh, well, I don't know. If anybody knows what a stone fruit, let us know. Is it, is it, um, like maybe fruits that have stones, like the... I think it's actually a kind of stone. Oh, it's an actual... I think it... I mean, a kind of fruit. A kind of fruit. A kind of of stone. It's kind of stone. (laughs) Question is too happy. I think this one is too happy for us. I keep... Especially because I'm, like, more of a a stout porter girl, so you get up into the 80 IBUs, and it's... It's just too much for me. Yeah. It's not bad. It's not... It's... Oh, are you kidding? I don't actually think it's bad. My husband, this would be his jam. Yeah. He'd be like, and man, have another... (laughs) Yes, yes. I think that's the beauty of it, though. Okay, so it says stone fruit is like like cherries and peaches. So, yeah. Like, okay, yeah, that's they are. right. All right. Hey, look at that. All right. Yeah, so. so and I love peaches. Was this my glass? Yes. Yeah. Okay. I love peaches. Yeah. Hmm. I'll try it again then. <laughs> You're like, oh, maybe I'll like it if I. <laughs> yeah. 
It's not that I don't like it. I just like that one better. Yeah. And I, I also think it. sometimes, though, like, like if you're going to jump into a big, big, bold, happy one, you almost can't start with a, a lower one and work your way up because then it's too much. But if you just start there, good to go. Then you're good to go. Yeah, because I th- this um big bowl of like hoppier one, I would drink it as like I drink a glass of it, and I would say it's fu- like tastes mm-hmm. fine. But then like yeah, but because we're also comparing. compared to this, I'm like oh I definitely prefer mm-hmm. this. Mm-hmm. But so yeah, I feel like I Stella's know. losing her mind. Yeah, I don't know Stella. if you guys can hear the dog barking, mm-hmm. but her and um so we have Stella, and then we also have Edward. And Edward's a little black, maybe. Mm-hmm. She's so cute. And they have been, like, play wrestling all this morning. So they're all hyped. Well, and Stella, they're both miniature schnauzers. And Stella spent the night at my house last night because her dad has today off. So she's a little out of sorts because I don't say no and I let her do whatever she wants. Just kind of like a grandchild. <laughs> um, so this is, I have a bunch of stone fruit seeds saved to make amaretto. That's cool. That is cool. I'll we'll have to, let us know how that works out. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Hmm. So, did you want to kind of go through yeah, some Yeah, I do, of because I think, I think after we talk about this kind of stuff, folks are going to want to know, hey, you know, which one of these has those different profiles? And um, what I do want to mention, you're going to notice, we normally only ever have Brewer's Best, um, but True Brew has uh, resurrected their kids. We haven't had True Brew kids in, I would say, well over a year. Uh, I, maybe two, I don't want to say two, but... A year, a year and a half. I've been here about a year now. Do you ever ever see any these? I remember that I may have seen like one or two occasionally, but it's mostly all, oh sorry, Brewer's Best. Well, they're back in production, and the good thing is um, there's very little overlap. Meaning, you know, um, yes, True Brew has an India Pale Ale, and Brewer's Best has an India Pale Ale. They both have a double Pale Ale, I mean double IPA. But after that... It just expands our selection, and basically they're not com- they're not competing so they're or fighting. Not, yeah, yeah. Like this one is a session, um, you know, where this like so we've got the session here, and this one has let's see, holy cow, it has two, three, four ounces of hops. So you've got Amarillo, Cascade, and then um, CTZ. So they are using different ingredients than Brewer's Best is, which is really kind of cool. Look at this, a 4.9 with a 45 bittering unit. So the mm-hmm. Session IPA would really so be... kind of be a combination. The Session would kind of be a combination of the bittering units of the first brew that we had mm-hmm. and then the, um, what was I going to say? The the same type of hops yeah, as Cascade. this one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so that, that's kind of, that's pretty cool. And do you know how much this one is, Session? 44.99. Um, so this, yeah. Forty four ninety nine for this session one. You know, and what you're going to find is um, traditionally IPA um, kits are going to be a little bit more expensive because there's more hops in them. And hops are not cheap, which is why we're giving you 10% off. So there's that. Also, I want to mention the West Coast IPA. Yeah. So we don't have anything a- like that in Brewer's Best. Um, so let's look at that. That's got an IBU of 45 to 55, an ABV 6. An ABV of 6? Boom. Six. <laughs> it didn't have a percent, no. so six. when we looked at it, where I was like, ABV of 6. And I was like, wait, what? 6%. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so heavy. This is heavy. Um, and it's got Summit, Chinook, and Cascade. So again... The combination of number one and number two. Mm-hmm. Um, what's this one, Ryan? West Coast? The West Coast is going to be forty four ninety nine. Okay, forty four ninety nine. And the question, great question, what's the difference? Never tried True Brew, what's the difference? True Brew is made from made by um, BSG, um, Brewer Supply Group. So it's a different manufacturer. Um, and, and Brewer's Best is made by L.D. Carlson. Um, so that's the whole the, the difference. I mean, they all have they're all complete. They all have great um, instructions. They come with uh, specialty grains, dry malt extract, liquid malt extract, your yeast, your hop additions. Mm-hmm. Um, they use a primary and a secondary. Uh, you get the same five gallons. They're comparable in price. They're comparable in quality. Um, those are the only two kits that we carry. There are about a bajillion. 
approximately, um, <laughs> kids out there that we could carry. Approximately a bajillion. A bajillion. Look up that number. It's got a lot of zeros. Um, and uh, we carry these, too, because we feel very confident that our customers are going to like them. So that's that's the difference. The difference is you just get more opportunity to try new things. Yeah, because they like you said how they don't overlap. So it's basically just you know we could carry just one or just the other, but why are we doing that? Why would we do that when we have the? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, um, we also have the double IPA. So that would be similar to the third beer yes. that we tried here. Um, that's mm -hmm. going to be a higher ABV. So um, yeah, six to seven percent ABV. Mm -hmm. A little bit lower uh, IBUs than the beer that we tried. It's still going to be around 50. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, but look at that. Yeah. Holy it, cow. It's going to have, so this this double IPA, it's going to have Centennial, Will Willamette, Amarillo, and Cascade. So it's going to have four different types of hops, um, which, I correct me if I'm wrong, but that's something that you don't see in the Brewer's Best Kits a lot is, like, Four, like four different types you of know, hops. I wish I could have grabbed. We were out of the Brewers Best Double IPA actually. Oh okay. Um, we so we can't even compare it. And I, there may be four hops in there. Yeah. Um, because a double IPA is unique in that. But uh, we actually sold our last one yesterday, and they're not coming on the truck today because we went through <laughs> ten in one day. And so <laughs> they like them. Huh? They do, and they'll be back in stock on Tuesday. Um, so we're out of the double IPA for Brewers Best, which is a good thing. It just tells you that it's very popular and people love it. Yeah. Same thing happened with, uh, the sour ales last week. I know. We're having a hard time keeping everything in. It's okay. It's a good problem. It's, it's a good okay. problem. Yeah, it's a good problem. So we do have a couple of, um, one gallon kits. What did I give you? A three, a list of three or four? Yeah. So the one gallon Imperial IPA, uh, the one gallon just... Uh, straight IPA and then one gallon grapefruit IPA and those are all going to be nineteen ninety nine. Yeah. So if you're just trying to experiment with an IPA, it's a good way to absolutely. You know, make a couple of bottles. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So the, I, and I think it's nice to have. I mean, to have three to choose from in a one gallon selection is pretty good. Mm -hmm. um, now again, I only grabbed a few. I grabbed some that I thought were um, a little bit non-traditional or some that I think would be super popular like the New England IPA the any IPA um, for those of you who um, enjoy a really citrus explosion in your IPA my, that's the, what my son calls orange juice beer <laughs> um, it, that one's fantastic we brewed that last or the summer before last because nobody had any fun last summer so that would be a lie <laughs> the summer before last and we all went on an outing and we put it in a jockey you know we had a jockey box and we just um, all drank it as a as a crew while we were fishing um, <laughs> and it was awesome it was awesome I can tell you that we don't have any in stock or we have we have this in stock we don't have any brewed right now so yeah um, incredible so the New England is that you're saying that it's more like citrusy absolutely um, like orange juice that's the mm -hmm. style of it because for me I'm like okay New England IPA that's that means nothing to me okay so, so you're gonna think like juicy yeah okay juicier, yummy cool yeah Cool. Um, I think, you know, like the New England IPA even has like a, it's not as a clear of a color. Oh, okay. It's a little, a little bit more. hazy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah. Black IPA. This one is pretty serious. I don't know if you've picked this up, but it's a heavy kit. Um, <laughs> yeah. I know that because, you know, I, like I'm to, pretty strong, but. I have to price out <laughs> our shipping quotes. So. <laughs> yeah. But if you take a look at that, your IBAs, IBUs go up to 54 on that. Um, and you're up to a 6% 6 ABV, so that's no joke. And it's black in color. Yeah, I was going to say, that's, like, different than... Yeah, what, let's see, what, what is the, um, what's the hops in here? So if you're going to do a really dark IPA, let's see, these are nice and sealed. <laughs> I remember when I first started working here, um, they asked me to do some different videos for like kit unboxings, and I was like, sure, and so, you know, I would unbox things, but I didn't really understand how it all worked together, so it's really neat after having been here for a year to understand how kind of everything works together. Um, so Chinook. Oh, see, Columbus, I had Columbus, Columbus earlier. Chinook and Columbus. Oh my God, here's more. Oh. This is no joke. Look at all these hops. Oh, the Mark smell. Columbus. Chocolate wheat malt. So we've got three ounces of Columbus and two ounces of Chinook. 
all those in the black IPA. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in a beautiful chocolate wheat crushed malt is that what in there. It, is that what gives it the color? Yeah. Um, you see that? Look how beautiful that is. Yeah. And it smells I wish incredible. You guys, I wish you guys could smell this because it seriously smells so good. Mm -hmm. It's like right here and I can still smell yeah. it. Yeah. That, that actually, I think, would be something I would totally enjoy. A black IPA? Yes, I yeah. do. Yes, yes. I'd like to get to brewing more things um, on our lives so that we could, you know, taste more of what we brew. We need the weather but, to break. But, yeah, that's what I, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I was going to say. Mm -hmm. The weather is Wow, Paula, you put that box back together really nicely. It's almost like I've done that before. It's almost like she's done it. She, I'm making a reference if you guys didn't see like some of our previous lives. I tried to put a box back together and I completely failed. And Courtney I also, has put <laughs> at some things. That is not it. I also spilled a beer on that live. Um, when you put it back together, it would have needed a box twice the size. You know what? You know what? I'm not perfect. Nobody's perfect, Paula. All right. So I want to talk about this one though. Okay. And I don't. I, I didn't give you the price of this one. Did you get it? the extra? Yeah. IPA? Um, it's forty nine ninety nine. Okay, so here's the deal. ABV 7 to 7.5, IBUs 24 to 28, and it's, it's considered their, their, <laughs> ouch, <laughs> considered their, their <laughs> hop rotator series. So that means, yeah, what does that mean? <laughs> these change, obviously they rotate it, they change, but this one, look at this. So many hops. Yeah, so many hops. So wonderful. So these these change out the hops. They change. they change periodically. Yes. Huh. So yes. it's kind of like oh my gosh, you know what it's like? It's like it's like those dum dum suckers when you were a kid and oh, the, the, the mystery ones? flavor. Yeah. <laughs> That's if you like the mystery flavor dum dums, get this oh. pop rotator series because so you're never gonna know what you're gonna get. Ooh. This, so, this one is featuring African Queen and Southern Passion. Yeah. So, African Queen. There's two ounces of that, maybe? Yeah. yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, there's, there's two African Queen, two Southern Passion. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And one more. Uh, we also have oh. Columbus. Yeah. It's convenient that we live in Ohio because Columbus is in Ohio. Oh, yeah. It's pretty popular. All right, okay. Paula. Yeah. I can handle this. I can handle this. Not a problem. Look at you. We should put a little card in there that says, Packed by Paula. Packed by Paula. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. No, I just, I think I that think it's I think people exciting. should actually have to pay extra for the ones that are packed by you. <laughs> is, it, is it extra or more? I like, think it's is a it discount. extra or less? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, um, why don't you share with our our viewers some of the others that we have and some of the price points because they're amazing and I noticed I'm mean, gonna uncheck myself. We have them all in stock, but the double IPA by Brewers. You best. guys like the double IPA. Can't keep it in mm -hmm. stock. But we do have it in. Which is funny because that was the one that we. I know. Like. We're like me. That's okay. That's, That's fine. More for you guys. More for you. All right. So uh, we have the. Wait. What's this? True Brew. Oh. Duh. So we have the True Brew Double IPA, uh, True Brew West Coast IPA. And the True Brew Session IPA. Um, I guess I should give prices. The double IPA is going to be $54.99 because it has so many hops. The West Coast is $44.99 and the Session is $44.99 as well. Um, we already talked about the one gallon so kit. So True Brew has, also has just a regular IPA. Just a regular IPA for $49.99. Uh, we talked about the Black IPA. That's going to be $45.99. Uh, the Pacific Coast IPA is going to be forty nine ninety nine. Double IPA in the um, Brewer's Best mm -hmm. is forty nine ninety nine, which we're currently out of stock until Tuesday. Till Tuesday, uh, the New England or the Orange Juice IPA, <laughs> uh, forty nine ninety nine, and then um, Grapefruit IPA. Oh, uh, it's a mystery price. price. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The grapefruit IPA, go get it for yourself and tell us the price. <laughs> yeah, we, uh, we didn't put it on there. I got distracted. Um, yeah, and then just mm -hmm. a straight up IPA. What's the, what's the, how do you say that? Brut? The brew. Brew IPA. Mm -hmm. What is that? Like, I, did I bring that up? I think you did. It's right here. I did. Well, it's, and I, I don't know because it's I, 49 .99. When I, when I hear brute, I think champagne. 
I feel like you just always want to think champagne. Paula. <laughs> Paula, you know, here's here's the thing. Paula comes in here and it's like beer day and she's like, okay, I'm excited. She's like, this is cool. Paula comes in here, it's wine day. She's like, yeah, let's go. It's true. <laughs> so I guess my role here is that I have to take on the role of the beer. I think you're doing a fine job. Which is completely fine because honestly, I'm I, like the, the wine. Wine is cool, but I definitely prefer beer. Oh, look at this. Fruit IPA, inspired by the crisp, bubbly taste of champagne. Oh! <laughs> our brute... It's almost like you said that. Yeah, isn't that crazy? Um, our Brute IPA is very light in color with huge hop character, courtesy of the generous Whirlpool Hop additions. Glucoamylase enzyme creates a bone-dry, effervescent finish that's refreshing and unique. They're, like, I have a college degree, but those were big words. <laughs> I like them. I like words. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this one has Centennial, Mosaic, Osaka, and Idaho 7. So they have some cool hops going Hold in up. there. What's this, though? Because you step don't normally have that. No. Um, it's to replace step number three of the recommended procedures. Okay. Addendum procedures for select intermediate brewers' best kit that contains starchy grains. So, to convert step three. Okay, yeah. so, yeah, you're doing a little extra on brew day there. Yeah, so instead of just steeping your grains like you normally would, you'd go through this process. Mm -hmm. um, this yeah. is a little fancier. Yeah. That's the difficulty cool. is advanced. Yeah. Uh, something mm -hmm. that something about that though is like when I see advance, I'm like, oh, I probably shouldn't do that. Oh, see, and I I see advance, and I'm like, good to try that. <laughs> you can't, you can't, you can't me. tell me I can't. But like, literally, be like Paula, but not like me. <laughs> no one ever says be like Paula. Yeah. No one ever well, says I said that. It. Okay. Somebody says I've done a br brute that I paid before. It's a cool style of beer. I'm yeah. I'm yeah. thinking I would like it a lot. Yeah, yeah, that'd be cool. Because I think champagne means breakfast. <laughs> yeah, super cool. Oh, wow. And if you want to talk about cool, this one has flaked maize in it. That's amazing. Oh, boy. <laughs> da, da, da. Yeah. Paula loves my puns. She's punny. <laughs> yeah. This is, a, this is a very... Well, how much was this kit? Um, that one was forty nine ninety nine. Okay. So that's a good price for all yeah. the things that are in here. So all these kits are gonna be like forty ish to fifty ish dollars. Yeah. So yeah. pretty no, good price for five gallons of beer. Well, especially when you get to play with all these cool things. Yeah. Alright. Boom. Alright, so don't tell us that we never talked about IPAs. <laughs> Because we did. Yeah, did. <laughs> Not yeah. that anybody would say that, but. Oh, wait, did somebody break their beer? <laughs> Maybe. I'm working on it. You know, well, if we cut off this live, we have to go back to work. I know. So, what I'm hearing is I should just sit here like this for a while. I found it. You guys need to get a beer. Join us. Get it's, a beer. Join it's, us. It's not nice to um, drink alone. It's not. That's why. I think that's why. Oh, um, super! It said okay. So boozy scientist said it was super dry. The final gravity was zero point nine nine eight. Oh wow! Oh, I think I would love that. Yeah. I was drinking a really dry um, Zinfandel last night. That was amazing. You know, I don't think we give Zinfandel enough credit when it comes to the wine world, but that's a whole different story. Next week is wine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, next week is wine. Yeah, actually, we're doing, what are we we're doing? We're doing some tastings. We're doing some tastings. Yeah, we're going to do some tastings like with, this. with a little bit of um, uh, food pairing, me meaning anything that I can do that's food I didn't have to cook. Fair. Okay. Fair. Well, I appreciate Which means, like, chocolate I appreciate and the cheese. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I like chocolate and I like cheese. Okay, there we go, because it'll be amazing. It'll be red wines. We're going to do red, because you, you just really don't want to mix up the whole world. So, um, mm -hmm. it's fine if it's just cheese, because... Uh, my husband, like, we were, we had a bunch of groceries and everything in the fridge, but we didn't have any cheese, and he's like, well, time to go get groceries, we don't For have sure. cheese. I'm For like, sure. that pretty mm -hmm. much makes sense to me. Me too. My so. cheese drawer always has three or four or five or ten different kinds, and little nubs of this and that, because you never know when you're going to just need a little, you just need a little bit of cheese. 
Mm -hmm. but, all right, well, um, I don't think that we should finish these on camera, to be completely honest. No, I think we'll, so. we'll, we'll quietly finish while we clean up, and clearly there's a lot of cleaning up to do. Right. So uh, with that, I hope you guys have a good rest of your week. Uh, we clearly really enjoy these Thirsty Thursdays. We hope you guys are enjoying them too. It really does mean a lot for anyone that's out there watching. And don't forget that all of our hops are on sale with the code HOPPY10 through, now through Saturday. So make sure before Saturday you pick up, uh, you know, some Cascade, some Citrus, some Chinook, and some of the mosaic. other... Mosaic. Yeah, <laughs> mosaic hops. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, with that, we'll see you guys later. Oh, wait. So we said, hi, you're going to finish them? <laughs> <laughs> yes, we are. <laughs> Done. Gotcha. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Are we off? We are. We are. We are. We are.